everybody. Welcome to the Randomizers Podcast. I am DJ Silver XY, and welcome to the podcast. I'm here with my two co-hosts. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> Burger King foot lettuce. Bur- Burger King foot lettuce. Oh. <sighs> on, on your Burger King burger is foot fungus. Alrighty. Uh, welcome. Uh, okay, welcome again to the Randomizers podcast. It's me, and then I'm also joined by my two co-hosts, John and Alex, aka Cake and Artie. And w- welcome. What do we got for today, my my, my hunkies? All my jokes are Christ for help. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Another fun episode of the Randomizers podcast. Oh, boy. Oh. Now, today's going to be about gamer news because was, we're the note now. Yeah, I was going to say, this, this is, uh, I don't have a background for this one because this was a surprise topic. Alex told us right before I started the recording, but tell us again, Alex, what be it? Because we're just, it, I mean, of course it's gaming news, but what specifically? Give me a second. I'm only suffering a collapsing lung. Jesus. Oh, okay. Um. Oh. Are you okay? Frick, frick me in the pee pee hole. Oh, All right. I'm okay. <laughs> so, oh, it's okay. Koreans can fit. <laughs> um. <sighs> God, starting off racist already. Okay. So, MM Dust, the fucking guy with the god complex on Twitch. But all just like just like all Greek gods, gods must be slain by the entire fucking Twitch community. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I didn't know they had Twitch back then. <laughs> so here's here's the backstory for you guys. And mind you, I'm fucking I'm fucking drunk as shit again. So uh, I'm gonna slur my words. Okay. So basically what happened was there is a guy. His name was MM Dust. He is a speedrunner to a Twitch streamer, and he has shit. I don't know. I'll look it up right now. But he has a little bit of following on Twitch. Nothing too significant. Um, but anyways, he had his own panel at TwitchCon recently. Oh boy. And um, in I when he was being interviewed. Is going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. During his panel, he was like, okay. I know this is going to sound bad and like um I just I I I don't feel like people can I have a bit of a god complex. I don't feel like people can relate to me because like I I have I like I have so much problems that like streamers have that a lot of people basically he's just telling everyone that he's better than everyone and nobody can really re- re- relate to what he's going through as a Twitch streamer or some shit. So, okay. Narcissism. Well, okay, John. Anyways, <laughs> no, that was me. <laughs> oh, wait, no, but John left the call. John, the heck, kech, the fech. Anyways, I'll I'll continue. Keep, yeah, keep going. I'm pretty sure he'll come back. <laughs> uh, wait, unless he just rage quit out of the call. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this is this is too shit. I don't want to hear this anymore. I don't want to hear that there's a human being that's like this. Oh, speaking of the devil. Oh, that's oh, Hello. that's dick. But uh, keep Your going. Microphone is mute. Yeah, his microphone's muted. Uh, c- keep going though. It, there he is. Okay, so like I was saying, like uh, because of his so-called god complex esque behavior at the Twitch panel, he got so much fucking shit for it. Like big streamers were shitting on him so fucking hard, and like even and of course regular people are shitting on him. Like, dude, you only got like fucking. How many followers? I'm about to look that up right now. They're like, you only got like, what, like 5,000 followers on Twitch? Get the fuck out of here, you stupid ass cunt. Jesus. If you only have 1,000 followers on Twitch, then fucking oh, Silver, okay, so... I mean, not Silver, uh, fucking Artie, I don't, you have, didn't you have like 1,200? I have like 200 at the most. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fuck, why don't you go to TwitchCon? That's apparently that's all it takes. Okay, so <laughs> I'm looking through his Twitch. I'm looking through his uh, Twitch uh, page right now, and okay, if you were to see his Twitch page before, his Q and A panel was short and simple. Uh, what should I call you? 
Mr. MM Dust or some shit like that. How old are you? Uh, Twenty one. Do you do do you do giveaways? Get out of my channel. That's what that's basically what it said. Like that, especially that. Do you do give it a give? Do you do giveaways? It like it, it's he just told people get get out of my channel. But now it's so much different. It's like so much nicer. Like let me let me let me read it to you. Do you get do you do you do giveaways? No, I don't enjoy doing giveaways as I feel it attracts the attention of users that only come around for the giveaways. Specifically, I'm not really all that interested in having the attention of those users, so I tend to not do giveaways. Liar. <laughs> Before TwitchCon. No, or Twi yeah. TwitchCon? TwitchCon. Before TwitchCon. Twitch he w it was it said, do you do giveaways? Get out. And now it's like no, um, actually, I really don't like it, uh, to be quite honest. What a fucking faggot. I care about the Fuck community, you, man. He got attacked so fucking hard. It was it was the best thing ever. That's what you get when you let the fame get to you. Sometimes it makes you become a huge dick. He had 5,000 followers on Twitch. <laughs> no, no, no. I think it was like 1,000 on Twitch, 5,000 on Twitter. I, I'm not too sure. I'm trying to. I'm pathetic. I and like I just really hate like the shit that happens to these these people where it's oh they they just sorry. let this shit get to them and now it's just like oh I'm better than you now I I don't I'm, care about any of you I'm I don't think anyone could reach my level I'm like oh you mean no, like okay. stop please so he was way bigger than I predicted or the what I guessed. He's a lot of 11,000 followers, but I mean, even Shit. then, compared to some other Twitch users, like especially Lyric, that's still pretty small. Yeah. That's, that's, that's tiny dick energy right when, there. When it comes to the <laughs> internet, enough is never enough, I guess. But yeah, um, MM Dust, uh, you're kind of a prick. Um, to be quite oh, honest, geez. I'm not even, like, I'm on a, a Hunter x Hunter style hiatus from <laughs> streaming. So. Um, I can't really say too much, but I mean, just as a as, just as a human being, just as a regular old person to another person, fuck you. You know that kind of reminds me of uh, who's who's that one like who's that one like asshole that freaking let the fame get to him and then like he just became a complete douchebag to everyone and God, I forgot it. I forgot his name. <sighs> No, wait, no, I remember. F f freaking Fousey Tube. Whatever happened to him? Oh, that shit insane. Did did Sorry. he actually, like, f like fall off the edge of YouTube because of, like, how weird he was acting? Because he was acting, like, fucking weird. That, like, he was, like, some kind of prophet or some oh. shit. Just because... Was... It's so weird. Fucking... Alright, Clown, if you're watching this, I love you. But Colossal's Crazy made a video... Two videos, actually. Before and after Fuzzy Tube's complete and utter mental breakdown, and I think you should watch both of them because it basically talks about what happened, why he did it, what was going on in his head when he was thinking about it, and it's just fucking insanity. Jeez. And honestly, just the I, fame got to him. He was always a douche. Yeah, I just, that's what people didn't want to see. I just that's what hate. Didn't know. I just really hate when shit like that happens, though. Like to people. It just... I'm looking through his channel. Huh? I'm looking through his channel right now, and uh -huh. I don't know if this is his main channel or what, because this channel has 10 million subscribers, so I'm going to assume it is. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it says his last uh, video was a year ago. I don't know what the fuck happened. If he had like, an alternative channel he was uploading, and then he kind of deleted that channel. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. He's a crazy person. No I, one cares. Okay. I uh, think he just stopped, but yeah. To the important gaming news in the gaming channel. This is the game show with uh, this is the DK game, game Y R D Gamer and Mr. Game Dragon Game. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say game after that. Shit, I'm sorry. I yelled too hard. Gaming is epic, you guys. So uh, apparently, my boy voiceover fuck name voiceover Pete was. Kicked off of Fiverr. The fuck? Voice over Pete, you know, the guy that says intentional gamers. What? Voice over DJ XY. Voice over DJ XY. It's voice. Hold on, let me show you this shit. The moment you see his stupid face, you'll. 
you'll, you'll know. No, I know who you're talking about. I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, the poor man got kicked off of Twitch for some reason, because I guess of the fake um, credit card thing. But now, this man, I think, is an inspiration to everybody because of the fact he had an absolute soar in subscribers and views and and even his costs have gone down significantly since he moved over to Patreon. Okay, if by any chance anyone from Fiverr wants to use Voice Over Pete, he has a Patreon page and I think we should do that for him. We should just get him to do a thing for us. It's, oh. He's great. Okay. I want to lick Fuzzy Tube's bald head. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, this just came out oh, of nowhere. No, actually, this is related to gaming. He's going to be playing Fortnite with the great nin Ninja Man. He's going to play Fork Knife? Ninja Man. Wait, he's going to play Fork Knife with Ninja? Who is he? Fo Gross. No, voice no, over Pete. Pete. Uh, you okay. dingle. Why would Fuzzy to do freaking Fortnite, dude? Because he's cancer. Point is why wouldn't he? What would be stopping? Because he's cancer. <laughs> okay. Um. Huh. Oh no, Silver. Are you a fucking Fousey Tube fan? No. Why the hell would you even think that? <laughs> <laughs> like the way you really wanted us to derail on Fousey Tube is like, oh no, the Silver have bad taste. <laughs> Joseph's like, no, God. Ew! Why would you even suggest that? And then Joseph goes to his like to, to his room inside his closet where there's like a food <laughs> tube shrine, like with lit candles and everything. And he's like bows down. He's like, go in the side. Who's go in the side. Fuzzy Chan. No, but seriously, no. It's it's because no, I. Fuzzy tube body pillow, but instead of Fuzzy tube. Ew. <laughs> no, it's it's because I actually saw. It, like, believe it or not, like, this was from a Chills video that it was talking about, like, a lot of the, like, famous YouTubers that, like, just stopped uploading. And one of them was FouseyTube. I'm like, wow, this dude just seems like a freaking douche. <laughs> oh, can I, can I plug something in real quick? Yeah, John did. Don't forget to check out VoiceOver Pete, m my honkies. All right, go, go, Alex. What's up? Can everyone go and follow my Instagram, my new Instagram page that I've just made? Yes. Specifically go... for Pokemon TCG. <laughs> and I mean, you, you disgust me in almost every single way, shape, or form. <laughs> I hate you. Jeez. I hate you. You, I you bully me, and then you do shit like this? I Pokemon <laughs> content? Are you Max Mofo? No, you're not. Yes. You're not fucking Australian, you piece of shit! <laughs> The difference is, I'm gonna do this every Friday. Max can't even do it every two days. Oh, <laughs> but he's aware of it, though. Oh, poor Max. But um, legend. massive legend here. Oh, um, yeah, I saw that freaking that pack that you got recently, Alex. I'm like, Jesus. Lost Thunder. Yeah, how much was that? Oh, okay. So a friend of mine actually hooked me up with it because I didn't have any money, so I had to pay him like forty bucks tomorrow. Oh. What the fuck? But in, anyways, ignoring whatever the fuck that just that was. Jesus, yes, J John, I... turn off YouTube while we're doing a podcast, you dingle. Be professional hey, for once. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For one, okay. For once, <laughs> bitch. I love you. I love you, John. So if you go to that, if you go to Instagram at puff underscore daddy underscore Pokemon, again that is at. Puff underscore daddy underscore Pokemon. You'll Puff actually see, you'll actually see where all of the all of the shit that I got, including four fucking boxes of Pokemon cards, like four elite trainer boxes in one weekend, plus <laughs> a ten. So Alex, are you going to actually be posting like little Instagram videos and making a compilation and putting them on YouTube, or are you just going to just do that on Instagram only? No, it's just gonna be on Instagram only, cause mainly cause I'm a lazy fuck, and I'm, and whenever I like <laughs> open up, whenever I buy a pack and uh, whenever I buy a pack of anything Pokemon related, like cards, I'll live stream it to Instagram. I just need to find a good way of live streaming, cause like the last one was pretty shit. Woo! <laughs> Jacking it there. How, how much? 
Hey, God, you know, man, I just, I just love those those Pokemon cards. <laughs> how how much um what was it? How how many have you done so far, though? Um. Okay. So live, I've only done one. That was for Lost Thunder. Okay. Um, but other than that, <clears throat> I haven't done anything else. Mm. I do tomorrow plan to go get uh, this other pack that I saw. It comes with a uh, Tapu Lele GX and another GX, so like Tapu Finny. Oh, yeah, the, I was looking at that picture. Didn't you take a picture of that? Yeah, I did. <clears throat> and how much was there. that, though? That's $50. Shit. So I'm just like, well, we're ripping my wallet tomorrow. <laughs> Your wallet's just yeah. like, what are you doing? You're killing me. Hey, kids, it's the I don't have money because I'm a fucking millennial podcast. Hey, yo. <laughs> oh, my fucking phone. Welcome to the to the broke ass podcast. Guys, tell me how broke ass you are. <laughs> I'm so broke ass. I'm literally going to a convention for free <laughs> I'm out of sheer pity. I'm so broke ass that. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, yeah that's why so broke ass this is my uh, eighth account using the premium I ain't fucking paying ten dollars for that shit <laughs> I'm so broke ass that yeah <laughs> just yeah <laughs> I'm coming up with them, Alex. Why don't you <laughs> fucking put effort into me, fuck? All right, fine. I'm so I'm so broke ass that I sleep with my dogs. <laughs> All right, when it, you it, say sleep with your dogs, you mean cuddle? Actual fucking sleep, you stupid ass. Oh, God. <laughs> that is, if, oh, he, oh, he's gone. Oh, I think like the connection is shit. Um, mm, it, it's kind of like we're we're setting these up as if they were like yo mama jokes. <laughs> I'm such a broke ass. <laughs> I'm such a broke ass that I can't even afford to go to the restroom on my own. I hate my fucking computer. <laughs> it's bad. I'm so broke, broke ass. ass but... I keep jumping in and out and glitching like I'm fucking WD Gaster from under his tails. Hey, but, 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 okay. Um, what was it? Uh, on on to the to the gammon news. Apparently, this has been a huge. Uh, controversy that has been going on and apparently it was an off-season April Fool's joke. Uh, apparently the bl <laughs> Blizzard was uh, released the uh, a mobile version, was it? Of Diablo? Diablo Immortal? I heard about this. And a yeah. lot of people hated it so much. And I want Blizzard to fucking suffer. I just want Jeff. Um, I just want Jeff Kaplan to suffer. He, he want Jeff he, Ramsey from Rooster Teeth to suffer because he still he, hasn't said my name, Jeff. He's made so Overwatch many mistakes on Overwatch. I, I hate it. <laughs> Sorry, you're you're I just, saying. I just want Overwatch in general to suffer. I want that game to die. That game should have never come to fruition because it created just another toxic community. And to be quite honest, anyone who defends Overwatch is you're just a bitch. Fuck you. You should ding, die. Ding 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 ding. Wow, Alex, you said the magic word. That's the sponsor of the day. Overwatch. Shut, John, shut shut the fuck up. Uh, be be aware, <laughs> be aware, folks who are who are listening right now. Um, uh, Alex is uh crunk right now, so um. He he may he may be an asshole, and I know whether he's crunk or not, he's still an asshole. But I still love him. He, he's he's a, a racist. And, he's a good boy. And I'm just more honest and open because around that certain friend, I, I mean, I've already given him enough shit for us. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Fuck it. I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna like. You know, give more shit because that's not. That's just a can of worms. The way it happen. Honesty. But is, then, like. Honesty is the best know. policy. Mm-hmm. When I when I'm crunk as shit, all those <laughs> limiters are off. Um, can I, can, I can say things like "cunt," "bitch." Ah, you thought I was gonna drop the hard R, <laughs> dropping the hard R. <laughs> Cause like God, how many R's do you have? Too many. Help me. <laughs> like they're just like physical R's. Like help. Joker, don't you want to get paid? No. <laughs> not really. That's not even me. Okay, but um, back with it with that Diablo business. Wait, was it a mobile game? Right? 
Yeah, yeah. So Diablo Immortal <laughs> was announced uh, the other day on at BlizzCon, and at the, BlizzCon. the the reason it's so controversial is for two pretty big reasons. The first one being is that uh, Blizzard had decided to start hyping it up, like they started advertising and like kind of hinting at basically a brand new Diablo game. Now, if you know the Diablo franchise like I do, because one of my friends Peter is a fucking Diablo dick, so <laughs> kind. Um, but if you know the, that community of players, you know that they're primarily just a PC gaming only type of community. Like, I mean, yes, they brought Diablo to consoles, but that community was PC at first. So when they announced this shit, you know, with all the hype that they've been building up to it, of course, everyone was fucking disappointed. And so that's why you got the guy who was like, yes, excuse me. Yeah, I, I had a question. Was this some kind of out of season April Fool's joke or? <laughs> oh man! And, <laughs> and and what's funny is that um I I really loved when you sent like uh, an a screenshot of the comments and it just one person's like, "What the hell is wrong with you all? Do none of y'all have a phone?" <laughs> oh yeah, pretty much. So that's what that's what happened. So this other guy I decided to ask his question. He's like. So he brought up some points like, so I see some things and I don't quote me on this because I'm cr currently crunk right now. Crunk. Um, but he's like, he's like, don't I see a lot of the stuff that we were kind of begging for to be on Diablo 3, like some of the features to be in Diablo 3. We we're begging for that, <clears throat> but I see it in Diablo Immortal. So do you guys have any plans of porting it to, or like bringing it to PC or, and that's when the guy that's when the guy was like, no, so it's, so Diablo Immortal is uh, going to be coming to Android and iOS devices everywhere. Uh, the, but no, as of right now, there are no plans to bring it to PC. And everyone started booing. Like, everyone was like, boo, fuck you, fucking bald ass. Yeah! And then like, <laughs> okay, okay, there, uh, wait, I, 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 okay, I gotta make on. a tally then, because that is at uh, 22 minutes and uh, 10 seconds where I have to go into the editing and censor. Anyways, so, um, I, wait, I don't think anybody was actually bald over there. Anyways, so. The creator is. Basically. Yeah, so basically, after everyone started booing, the, their first reaction was like, do none of you guys have phones? Or like... No fucking way. That's what he said. Go watch the Q&A session. That's what he said after everyone's booing, like, in the most condescending way possible. Do none of you have, like, phones or something? And the other and then the other announcer was like, yeah, do you guys have enough phones? Because, like... But the, that's not the fucking issue, Blizzard. The issue was... You hyped it up like it's this fucking brand new immortal game, and here's the worst part. Here's the worst part of everything. Microtransactions. Uh, actually, uh, <laughs> disclosure. Disclosure, I don't play Diablo. I'm not really a big fan, but anyways, full disclosure. Um, <clears throat> mm -hmm. not, only, not only was the whole, you know, mobile thing <coughs> a big problem, but... They gave, they didn't, Blizzard didn't, isn't developing this game themselves. They sent it to NetEase, which is like controversial, shitty um, Chinese like game development company. Now, if you excuse me, you guys can discuss it. I'll be back because my throat is burning. Okay, dr drink, drink some shit. Not, I not, know. not alcohol, please. Um, you don't drink alcohol, you know that. Yeah, I I know it's it's just it, I, I'm I'm worried, you know. <laughs> I'm not worried. That's no. <laughs> no, because I just wanted to sound like a worried like housewife, you know, the like her husband's a drunk and it's just like I know he he does it too much. Uh, I try to help him, but every time I try and intervene, he just smacks me and I, you know. <laughs> It's like that episode of fucking Friends where Monica gets the, is with a really cool guy, but then she realizes that he drinks a lot. So then the moment she gets him to stop drinking, apparently it's that fucking easy. Um, he's hey, a boring. You guys boring. are supposed to talk about. You guys are supposed to talk about the game after that review. <laughs> 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 you can hear it all the way over there. Yes, he can. Yeah, he can. Headphones. Yeah, the wireless headphones. <laughs> 
Listen, I'm so fucking poor that I don't know what wireless headphones are, okay? <laughs> I'm so, so anyway, broke ass, I don't have wires in my headphones. Wait, no, I broke. have wires in my headphones. <laughs> so broke ass. This Xbox One is an Xbox negative. <laughs> This, one, this Xbox is an Xbox point zero one. Uh, well, I think that Diablo's bad video game series just because of the fact that it's another top turn table bullshit. I don't even like League of Legends, but you know what League of Legends has? Tits. <laughs> At least League of Legends has tits. Uh, I mean, the only... Uh, the only oh, no, game... game... What? Well, it is a shit game, but at least they have life lose. Listen. No, I was, wait. I was gonna say. I think the only. I think the only game in that genre that I actually like to play is Smite. I don't know why, but like, I'll. I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of that genre. I don't know much about Diablo, but I am just for certain that like they the developers just rip rest and rip. Just <laughs> they they dug their own grave there. Holy crap. I mean, I, like, I, I, I see, I could kind of see, like, how, just because, like, what Alex said, it's mainly, like, focused towards, like, PC gaming, and, yeah, of course, like, it got ported to uh, consoles, but, like, I, I guess when you're used to that for so long, like, what you see, like, oh, mobile, like, this is what we want, <laughs> like, I'm surprised that, like, people aren't like that in some of the other games I've seen, but, like... Like, back in the days of, like, like f fucking Halo. Now. So, like, Whoa. Switch mobile games, I mean, Switch actual content to mobile games, have this big fucking announcement, and then you realize that, oh, Skyrim 7 is going to be fucking on, on, on the phone now. Yeah, but, like, see, that that's how you actually hype it in a way. Like, Bethesda sort of did it right, where it's just like, everyone's just like, where's the next Elder Scrolls game? Well, guess what? Not only is there going to be another Elder Scrolls game, but there's going to be another other Elder Scrolls game, and we're going to make that completely on the phone. So, like, see, that's what the people of Sh Diablo should have did. If you want an idea and you want to put it onto a phone, you got to at least hype something up that everyone else wanted because no one, like, I'm pretty sure with the game that only focused on console and PC... Like, hardly any of the fan base would just be like, huh, I want this for mobile. Like, maybe you should just, like, broaden your horizons. Yeah, but, like, you should probably, like, ease them into it first instead of just like, oh, you want another Diablo game? Well, I mean, this, there's this phone one. I mean, we we still haven't said much about the, the next one that's actually going to be for PC, but, you know. <laughs> Is there even going to be a Diablo 4? Let's be fucking real with ourselves. I don't okay, know. Okay, okay, okay. That's what I was about to talk about. Yes. Okay. Tell us, please. Um, so, after that entire show with Diablo Immortal happened, yes. um, what had happened was their stocks fell, making the company Blizzard, Activision Blizzard, making them lose $3.7 million. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. <Lord>. What? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah, you should see their stocks. It plummeted. But anyways, um, after that, they purposefully leak plants for Diablo 4 just to mitigate the damage. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, a friend told me about that. Oh dude, that's that's yeah, that's gotta suck where they gotta like actually resort to that just to appease the fans. Like, dude, we really fucked up here. Like <laughs> Just apologize to your fucking fans to say here's Diablo 4, we're sorry. <laughs> just <laughs> Just be just be uh the BP oil people, just <laughs> we're sorry. Sorry. Oh my god. This is the low worst. What? It could be Rooster Teeth. God, why do you always gotta go on to Rooster Teeth's business? Oh, oh fuck Rooster Teeth. Anyways, so, uh, yeah, that's what happened with Diablo 4. Or Diablo Immortal. And then, um, I, I was talking to my friend Peter, and he was telling me he blames Overwatch for this. Because of, because of Overwatch... Um, Blizzard started getting really greedy, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because of the loot boxes. Yeah. 
I I blame Jeff for that. I'm 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 terribly sorry, but Jeff, you you got to get your shit straight, my 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 dude, my guy, because uh, yeah, you're you're a video game company that's actually very popular. You already have enough money, you greedy money grubbing little uh, like thingies. Why why do you do this to us? Why why do you What's gotta up? why do you gotta Don't give us these white, things? Bald white. Wow. Hey, I put in. Blizzard www.blizzard.com, but for some reason I'm on EA's homepage. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you serious? No. <laughs> oh god, because I, I was actually going to do that right now. Just like, wait, wait, is he serious? I want to see this for myself. It was a joke, get it? Because EA is like notorious for like in-game purchases for all their games. <laughs> yeah, I, oh, I I will can't. I will never forget that trooper at the game expo or whatever, where he's just like, and the not the nominee for the award is oh, God. I gotta pay a transaction just to open this. Oh, oh, they yeah. always do this, and he just like looks at the fucking audience. I'm like, and he's just like, it's true. It's it's really stupid. <laughs> When, when you look at the audience, that's kind of like a, that's just kind of like a gay kind of moment. Where yeah. Like, hey, guys, gay, <laughs> money, right? These <laughs> people <laughs> need I need love. <laughs> <laughs> Help me, please. <clears throat> Help me. Help me. <laughs> Help me. Somebody. Help. All right. Um, in other gaming news, um, God damn it, I actually had a really important one, but then I fucking forgot it. Because of Alex's dumb bullshit. The fucking Blizzard. <laughs> okay, okay, first off, fuck you, cunt. And then secondly, um, it was about Final Fantasy 15. Was it? For, for, uh, for John? Yeah, I know you guys are talking about what's, what's happening with Final Fantasy 15. They're, they're actually going to make like four more DLC stories, right? No, they canceled oh. all four of them. Well, actually, three of them. Oh. I thought they said they were yeah. Doing I thought they were done milking that cow. Never done milking. Mm. They're, they're square. E D oh, actually, I just found something out about Final Fantasy Seven. Seven. Oh, the the remake. That they're going to be making spinoffs about the remake, which hasn't even fucking come out yet. Excuse me. Again, to make spin-off games of the Final Fantasy VII remake. I spin-off games? I I yes, I, spin-off games based on Final Fantasy VII, but not our Final Fantasy VII. Solely on the remake, which tells me one of two things: one, the remake is actually going to be vastly different from Final Fantasy VII normally. I think it or is. Or two, so. fucking idea what the fuck they're doing anymore. I mean, there's so many people at Final Fantasy. Why do you think there's so many Final Fantasy games? It's like every other person at that company is just like, I have an idea for a, for a Final Fantasy game. Let's fucking do it. We, it was called Final Fantasy for a reason because we were we were broke ass. But now since it's gotten popular, fuck it, let's make freaking twenty five of them. Let's make a new main character and make him an even more unlikable cunt like the last one. I was gonna say like Zidane. Because a lot of people, like, don't really memorize Zidane from, I believe it was 9. It was either 9 or, or 8, but, like, okay. people mostly like VV more. <laughs> we have three Final Fantasy protagonists. They're, they're the type. There's Moody Bitch. <laughs> idiot cunt who thinks he's better than everybody else. And then there's Moody Douchebag. <laughs> wow, you just, like, made them all technically douchebags. There's it's it's either a character like Lightning, a character like the uh, uh, I don't know Johnny Test, and then a character like fucking um, Cloud. There's no in between, except maybe for Noctis, who's Cl the best protagonist. Cloud's ma Cloud's mainly just edgy. That's pretty much how he is. He's just like, Ugh. like I, I don't know what to do. Broody. Uh, Broody. Fucking Broody. Oh, God, it's. Oh, the brood is just seeping out of my pores. You know what I want to talk about now? What? Yeah. Let's talk about Delta Rune, motherfucker. Oh yeah, uh, the the. I haven't really paid attention. Don't care. 
the uh, freaking it's te- technically the the alternate universe sequel to Undertale. It, it's actually fun. It is. Well, I mean, I've seen some. I've seen some of the beginning gameplay. It actually doesn't look that bad. And, <laughs> and we'll probably never have chapter two. Uh, it's probably never gonna come out. Play it. Just, just do it. <laughs> Sans fucked my mom. Help me. Oh yeah, Sans fucks her mom. <laughs> That's not a joke. I know Sans it's Sans not a joke, but still, like, why did when did Toby have to make Sans, Sans, Sans such a dick? Fuck. Like Sans Undertale fucked her mom. No, like, do, do you know what's weird. do you know what's also worse? What I heard that uh, that like that Sans does, because like apparently you have a phone. And yeah. he he supposedly gives you his his phone number, mm-hmm. but but when you actually type in the phone number and call it, it's basically a hotline for I shit you not. I think it was like like stupid babies. Yeah, stu- dumb babies. Dumb babies. Yes. Like Sans, why do you got to be such a dick, man? You were actually kind of cool in the first game. The fuck. Well, have you? Well, I mean, no. Sans is the mean man. He's the mean man. Understand the sole fact that Sans is is not your friend. He is basically there to fuck you in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> he could time travel. It's been proven. Travel, and not only that, he can also look in other alternate realities because apparently Sans has the power of a god. <laughs> no, he has the power of science. He has a time machine. That was the Easter egg. He has time a machine. His his pappy. Uh, like spat out some some crazy symbols, and he said, "Son, I made a I make time machine. You go and witness this one kid's death several times as you keep killing them." Okay, Poppy, I will. And I please not. Can can this reset stop, Poppy? <laughs> I'm very I'm very scared, Poppy. I've I've seen my brother's stats multiple times, and I don't like it anymore. <laughs> You're talking about how Sans Comic TV always uh, calls Sans Sans. Sans? Sans Sans. It's weird. Who? Wait, who? TV. And they have, like, legit voice actors. All I heard was TV, dude. I'm sorry. You you are cutting off. All I heard was TV. (laughs) I'm like, what the fuck? A, A YouTube channel basically just completely and utterly... Revolving around Undertale comic dubs. Oh. So it's weird. You know who one of their voice actors are? Their their primary voice actress. Yes. What is it? The voice of uh, Miss Fortune from Skullgirls. Um. Oh. She is the main. She is the only voice actress they have. <laughs> and I'm like, hello. Fuck did you get her? How much money does this channel make? <laughs> I mean, I I guess a lot. I mean, you always gotta do what you love, and I mean that's what they love. They they love doing. I'm not, I'm not doubting them, but it's like her. How how did you get fucking misfortune? Be all of the female voices in your fucking thing. They're they're working do her to the think? bone. What do you? It's hey. okay. Also, what? Hey, Keck. You like that paper cut photo I sent you earlier? <laughs> what? Okay. Picture of a dick going on, getting a paper cut, sliding oh. head Ooh. first. No no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So I sent them a picture. I'll send it to you right now. I sent no. them a picture of a, of a dick, and no. well, it's not. It's just a, it's just a drawn dick. It's not a real dick. Okay. <laughs> But, like, it's a picture of a dick getting a paper cut right on their urethra. Dude, I still, like, just the thought of that, dude. Oh, no, I don't... That's how you you kill your... Get rid of your boner in public. Hey, you, uh, you sponsors, you actual real sponsors, uh, uh, looking forward to partnering up with the the DJ Silver show here? (laughs) Sorry. Please, (laughs) please, any of, any of the sponsors... I like I need the money to help support my family, my my Dollar Shave Club, me undies, any of you. I hear yeah, all of you guys have amazing products. Please, I actually need better underwear. 
Hold on, guys. I just got a word because of the fact that uh, uh, Alice is talking about uh, a urethra getting cut for the piece of paper. Oh, Our God, no. Our sponsor today, Folden Catheters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait, I heard catheters, and then I heard, like, what? Fold them ups? What? Fly. Wait, say it again. Fly. F fly? Fold and fly. Fold, fold and fly. Don't god damn it me. You should be god damn it your freaking Wi Fi connection. Wi Fi connection is good. This, this computer is dying. Okay. <laughs> remember, remember, dude. I All of the video editing, all of the fucking shit that I do is on one computer. <laughs> every time. Every time you glitch out into the in the party in the chat, it's just your it's just your computer just screaming for help. Oh, basically what it is is I'm actually Gaster. I, I am Sans Undertale. I wait, which one are you then? Are you Gaster or Sans? Undertale, yeah, just because that's a funnier meme. Sans Sans is just a, a Steven Universe if he died from cancer. It, it, isn't that like a picture or something, it's Alex? A meme that he's referencing, yes. That God is damn it. <laughs> so yeah. fucking much. The Undertale community sucks. Buzz. But God. Can we can talk about Deltarune? Because, God, the music in Deltarune is so good. Yeah, you, the one thing you gotta admit for games like this is always, like, either the visuals or the music. And I gotta say it. Like, I. And. Like I, 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 one thing that you always gotta agree with, like yeah, there, there are a shit ton of, of games and shows that ha will have a very bad fan base, but nonetheless, you still just gotta either play the game or watch the show yourself and see what you think, like what, because a lot, because a lot of, because a lot of the times, you know that it could sometimes be good, you know, so. Why don't you go check it out, babe boy, and don't tell, don't listen to the what the fan base has to tell you, you know? Rick, Rick and Morty season three was actually one of the worst things that's ever happened. Jesus Christ! Undertale fan can kill themselves. Hey, can we can we talk about Rick and Morty season three and why it was the worst season in the entire series? Listen to me. Listen here, you 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 fat. <laughs> that's, I just stopped there. <laughs> Here are you talking to the actual fat? This is what you get, y'all, when you when you come on this side of the podcast. You get me where I'm just calm and cool, and then you just get the 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 one that speaks his mind, and the one that just speaks way too much that will just threaten the hell out of you and and your aunt. Remember when Salty came into the episode and threatened all of us? Can you do like a little like doo -doo -doo -doo? can you do like a little flashback noise and just go to no. like No. I remember no. though. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> it was the first time uh <laughs> Man I feel good. I could tell. Dollar Shave Club, everyone. Dollar Shave Club. This entire podcast, after we first mentioned it, everything between now, between then when we first mentioned it, and now has been part of the Dollar Shave Club advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything with Dollar Shave Club! <laughs> I got a straight razor the other day, and it, it shaved my face like a fucking pro, dog. And was it from hey, Dollar Shave Club? No, it was from work, but the point here is... <laughs> <laughs> Our next sponsor, Work! <laughs> you need money, you fucking bitch. <laughs> you Life need, is hard. You Especially need... if you put the fucking music on any piece of shit. Life is hard. <laughs> Especially when you don't know what the fuck to do and how to buy that hooker from across the street that's only $25. You serious? So you have to you... go to work. Work has various <laughs> ways of actually being an occupant. Work has various occupations that will be catering to you. You can be a lawyer, or a policeman, or a suicide bomber, or a doctor. As long as you're doing, <laughs> they even fucking talk. All right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. John. Okay, John. To be quite honest, I feel as though you would benefit much more if you figure out a way to come back to El Paso, because Alorica pays like nine twenty-five an hour. You can easily get money to live off of. 
I could, but I have to take care of my family. <laughs> Listen. Listen, listen, um, my, my brothers and my mother, if you're listening to this podcast, you're not a burden. Yeah. <laughs> I swear. You're not. You're not squandering my potential or anything. I love you, bitch. I ain't never gonna stop I loving ain't you. I never gonna stop loving you. Bitch. <laughs> this, this is mean. We were doing a sponsorship for just work, and, and then we ruined it. Work. <laughs> You ruined it when he said freaking suicide bomber, you dingus. That's not a job. You just want to that say that just because... I want to say the word suicide because that's funny. No, it's not a funny <laughs> all the time. It's about? not. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, you know, um... Uh, you, okay, well, um... Hey, hey, y'all. Um, my, my name is uh, Harry McAfee, and welcome to uh, the, this little tidbit. Uh, you know, fall's coming. And uh, I hope y'all get your get your sweaters ready, cause uh, you know, like right when uh, Halloween ended, like all those stores like Sam's Club and and Costco are starting to stock up on all their Christmas decorations. So you know that shit's gonna go by fast, and there, people are completely gonna forget that Halloween was even a thing. <laughs> but, is it true that you're um? fucking dumb bullshit of a antivirus software actually causes more viruses to come to your computer than actually help out the computer. That's, that's a different McAfee, no relation. <laughs> My point still stands. Is that, a, is that true? I'm, I'm hungry. I, I believe so, because I, I used to use that. That used to get randomly downloaded when I was a uh, just uh, going in on some uh, random programs on the computer and it hey. just says you want to download McAfee? I mean, yeah, it's a free program and what do I get? A bunch of damn viruses. Do you guys want some ASMR? Here's me drunkily using this straight razor to cut a bottle of water. Now, kids, he wouldn't... Now... <laughs> Here, wait, wait. I'll, I'll apply some some ASMRs with it. How does it feel, Alex? No. Does, does that feel good? Oh yeah. Oh, holy shit! This is getting intense. I'm loving this so much. I I think I think all that noise just like. It started distorting because the the Discord call is just was just going haywire. Everybody, I'm all gonna right. let you all know a are little you, secret. Are you done, Alex? Yeah. Can we talk about KDA? Can we yeah. talk about those hot legend babes who I would totally jizz on? Beautiful, just beautiful. What what, what do they do? Mine would have to be Evelyn because I like whores apparently. You, you didn't answer my question. What do they do? It's it. It was their Korean pop band now, I guess, and, and they're in the League of Legends thing. In the League, it, like like how so? Do they make music for the game, or like are they in the game? Their base, their fictional band, had a bunch of actual k-pop people come in and be like hey can you sing a song and can we use that to put our super hot waifus in as k-pop group and then the k-pop group were like oh error, yeah we really like it very much jesus <laughs> fuck <laughs> way to go yeah, like freaking are. i have the munchies you have the munchies. Are you going to be uh commenting from afar or from your kitchen I while you're freaking rich just Stop! You're just going straight to the freaking stereotypical, like, Chinese accent that South Park created. Hero. Dinero. Bombero. Sombrero. Um, habanero. Ah, fuck, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. 
Shit. Childish Gambino returned my calls and joined us in this podcast. It, wait, is it his... God, what, what's the... Wait, I, I, I may be like a complete uncultured swine, but what's Childish Gambino's like real name? I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Cause it's Donald he, Glover. Is it Donald Glover? <laughs> Fucking idiot. Okay, no, I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Listen to me. You, I'm, I, at least when I named myself Mr. Cuck Dragon Man, I didn't name myself after <laughs> mediocre character from Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, fuck you. It's actually a lot better than most of the characters from Sonic. He kind of is, and now I just hear a bunch of dogs barking. What the hell is going on now? They don't agree with my opinion. <laughs> What the fuck did he say? He, he said, those are his dogs. Also, he's eating cheese. Oh, that's, that's lovely. <laughs> what kind of cheese is it, Alex? Is it Kraft? Let, let, it, let it speak. What is it? What is it? It's your mom's cheese. Oh! <laughs> 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 Jesus. Uh, this is really good material. You should you should write for fucking Power Cynical. <laughs> okay. So, is there any other gaming news that I could think of? All that you guys could Apparently think of. Apparently, the Center Integra, um, the, the remake of Reestable is going to be highly edited and highly censored in the PS4 version. And everybody was really pissed off about it. And because of the fact that they did this, the centering, that, that game is going to be delayed by like fucking two months. What do you, well, what do you expect? Like, it's just, it's a lot of tits and ass, dude. <laughs> but they never did this before. And the fact that they're doing it now for PS4, because Center Tiger is becoming a bigger thing, people have basically kind of been going apeshit over this. And listen, I love, I love me some big titty ninjas. However... The, we we have to we have to take a stand and tell Sony my titties. I don't even get to see them in the game. So if you're even not gonna let me touch them, what the fuck is the point? <laughs> it's it's, a, it's getting rid of one feature that's been known for the Saturn Tiger games, and that's the touch feature where you get to touch the boobies and the butts and the where you get to touch the boobies. <laughs> You gotta, and, and people are not happy about that. You, you gotta have the 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 freedom to touch the big bahonkaroos and like j- just go. The pfft, uh, freaking, <laughs> they're like go, going on to the fucking like to that one to that one like lady that freaking <laughs> that became a meme. Just because he was like, see, this is why I fucking hate video games, because it appeals to the male fantasy. Yes, it can appeal to the male fantasy, but what if you were a lesbian? That could also appeal to their fantasy, and hey, there are a ton of other games where, you know, there are a lot of hot, hunky guys, too. You just haven't played them, you know? So it can appeal to anyone's fantasy once you think about it, once you put your mind to it. So, yeah, that's not a reason to hate video games, you weirdo. I'm sorry. Oh. Now, I understand that you might be a little bit angry about video games, but today's sponsor basically tells you to stop playing video games. (laughs) Wet paint drying. Nothing more enticing and absolutely exhilarating than actually watching wet paint dry. So many (laughs) are loyal and virgins. Jesus. John, I'm I'm sorry. I was going to say this. Daniel's, dude. Daniel doesn't. I. I don't think Daniel even watches this. If you guys don't know our friend Daniel, he really likes Senra and Kagura, and that's what we were talking about. But um, no, <laughs> no, but freaking no. no wait. I'm sorry, Daniel. If you're watching this, but you're a cunt. Fuck you. How dare he like my thing? No, everyone can like a thing, John. It's not only your thing, I you agree. you little. But special, if, that it was something that was even a subhuman like me could only like. Hey, hey, yo, uh, hey, uh, it's, it's the Silverman here, uh, 
I'm here to. So, I'm, <laughs> I'm here to. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here to tell you about. <laughs> I'm here to, oh, fuck! I'm, I'm laughing too hard. Wait, hold on. I'm here to tell you about our next sponsor today. Outside. <laughs> Outside. Do you think he was actually gonna be able to go outside? What about <laughs> that's our what, viewers wants to walk outside? That's, what, that's what I was gonna yeah, like, outside. I was, I'm John, not, John, John. That's I was, brave bros made. John, no, I was gonna it's cause I was gonna continue off on, on your like sponsor of watching paint dry, but like cause in the beginning you said uh like our sponsor is for our viewers to not play video games and but like I was gonna continue off and like and, and just go outside. People, have you ever heard of the outside? It's very nice. I mean, hey, there may be a little pollution here and there, but there there's some really good things you should go and see. Like if if you like playing games, you go for it. Just play those games. You love them. But don't forget to to just uh, go outside, hug your mom, hug your dad, and hug your dog. Go outside, and take a walk. Just just take a nice little walk uh, down down by the uh, you know like the local pawn shop, and uh, see what kind of uh, cheap stereos they have there. And then just just go back on a walk back to your house, and then just go back to playing video games. Our sponsor. You might find a girl who's willing to fuck your ass. <laughs> I, I'm terribly sorry, Alex. Is I think he's gone off the deep end of the crunk. I'm going straight fucking be putting my PP in her virginity. <laughs> what kind of fucking is going to happen in here? <laughs> this is what you get, folks, when when you listen to. Getting fucked. Who? This is what you get when you listen to the Randomizers podcast, everyone. You get you get just a bunch of weird random people talking about weird random stuff, speaking their minds, and it's, and it's like we're it's it's like we're all like a little bit of different personalities. I'm I'm just the, the nice one that's trying to like make fun topics while freaking like John is is yelling at a bunch of YouTubers and and Alex keeps you know, keeps being two. racist. <laughs> I only named like two or three. I didn't name as many as I normally do. Ass hat. <laughs> oh, thank you. I I'm glad you noticed my hat. It, it I know it smells funny, but it's I like it. It's... <laughs> I I. F- <laughs> didn't earn that gay kiss. I'm just telling you all that right fucking now. <gasps> the fuck did you just say? Uh, I, I, I think I said Undertale, but I meant Adventure Time didn't earn that gay kiss. I'm just telling you that right now. <laughs> oh, but is, isn't that a... Uh, I thought that was a true thing that Bobby said, that uh, if if you're a show or a, um, or a, a video game company, like, if, if you don't... I got. I don't forgot if he either. He said if you don't want to take yourself too seriously, or if you do want to take yourself seriously, just 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 add a gay couple. Then that of course it'll stir up controversy because there's always those those creepy homophobes out there like it is forbidden. The 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 two male parts can't touch, and the two female parts it's kind of hot, but it's they still can't touch. It's it's not right. It is not okay. And like and it's like, come on, people can love who they want to love, you know. It's the way it, that you said it's forbidden. It it made me think about that scene from Nacho Libre, where that the old literally the oldest man that's ever existed was there in Nacho Libre's church, and he says, "Oh." <laughs> with the fucking Mexican slur and everything. What was that a deleted scene? This is this is a thing when Nacho when when Nacho Libre was found out to be Nacho Libre, and then the old man was like, <sighs> yeah, oh, yeah, 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 and then the, the whitest sounding Mexican said, "I knew it." He is not a man oh. of God. That is I, not your real and, and, and I love it too, just like the same dude at like midway into like the no, I, I, I think it was like midway into the movie where like <laughs> where he, like out of nowhere he just fucking smacks him where he's just like, Bueno, look alive. Oh yeah, he sounded like super Max kid at that fucking point in time. That was, <laughs> that was super light. 
And I and I always love where. I hope he's burning it. And I just love how like the old dude, like how he's just like so like brutally fucking honest. Like in the beginning of the movie, where like uh, Ignacio's is freaking serving uh, breakfast to everyone, and the the that one dude was just like, uh, "There's no flavor. Where's the chips?" And then like he like Ignacio's explaining where's the chips. And then, like, they're all arguing, and then the old dude, he's like, Silence, brothers! This is the worst launch I ever had. <laughs> Maybe if you had fucking money, you could buy something that isn't just chips and guac. <laughs> that shit is. Uh, I, I, I see that movie too much. I, I'm sorry, but I just really like to think that they're just eating... Guacamole with some chips on it. Brown wa- guacamole. <laughs> guacamole. Yeah, well, it's Mexico. What do you expect? Hey, it, hey, I can Guys, make. I hey, can, I can, I can make those Latin jokes because I'm Mexican. You're Peruvian. You I'm racist. I'm Peruvian. <laughs> I'm Latin American too. You fuck. <laughs> the real shit. We're we're from the fucking Himalayas. We make Ica Cola. We make tea. We're we, we have uh, Peruvian flu pans in every single fucking mall. Preach what it. do you have? Preach it, sister. Preach it. <laughs> you know who's our... No, no, hold on a second. I want to talk about this for a second. Everyone's bitching and moaning about, I want my representation. Where's my representation? Do you know who represents me? Ron Jeremy. The Everest to prove. And you know who else represents me? Ron Jeremy. Crunk. Crunk. The only positive Peruvian role model that we cartoon boys have. Mm. I don't we don't have dick. Oh, I was gonna say, like, do you mean like the character you Crunk or you mean dick. Patrick Warburton? And then, and then, like what do Mexicans have? Oh, y- y'all got Manny Rivera from El Tigre. <laughs> Fucking uh uh Joaquin from uh, Book of Life. Uh uh, 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 from Invader Zim. Fucking y'all got it good. What Peruvians we have Cusco, and we have Crom. <laughs> talking about your fucking. But what do the gays have? The gays have fucking uh, Garnet. They got Marceline. <laughs> but still. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't think I'm gonna be in front of the nation now, boys. I think that's it. I know. Well, you, you put this on yourself, John. I know there's a lot of stuff that's wrong with the world or anything that upsets people, but sometimes. <laughs> hey guys, best grilled cheese sandwich idea ever I just made. What up? Pepper jack cheese and cream cheese together. Mm. The dildo on top. <laughs> Fuck you, cunt. <laughs> I'm the best chef out of everyone in our friend group, and you fucking know it. It's disgusting. I just never... Well, I mean, I've never had your food before, Alex. Never. I- can you can you, can you, can you, can you, yes, you have? When? Uh, During Heather's birthday party when I made everyone, like, fucking chicken Alfredo. I don't know. I wasn't did, there. I did I... Guess. What? I don't even remember eating. During that. Wait, during Heather's birthday? Oh, wait, you might not have been there. Okay, never mind. I thought, like, what the fuck? Ah. I don't think you were there. But... Yes, you were there. That's right. Your dad basically made me give him some of my chicken Alfredo. He came in the kitchen. He's like, oh, this looks good. And I'm like, yeah, I made it all myself. He's like, oh, okay. Do you give me a plate or what? I'm like, I mean, I fucking guess. Dude, I do not remember for the life of me. I have, right right at this moment, I have the memory of freaking chicken parmesan sandwich right now. Hey, uh, we're just shooting the shit today. I mean, it, it was technically game news, in a way. Or just n- news. Let's get rolling into the news. Let's, let's see, what the fuck? I'm no. your host, Killer oh, Team Star. Let's get rolling in the news. <laughs> Not fucking 
let's get rolling into the news. <laughs> this is a video about Beto O'Rourke. Oh, it should be about Minetta Minoru, the best oh, from Nigeria. Shut the fuck up, Con. We both know it's not true. <laughs> Shut the fuck up about your great <laughs> ass, stupid ass midget. You fucking asshole. I had him up there fucking here. And that height, if you cannot see him, is up to my penis. That is too much. No. Fuck you, all right? No. I'm so goddamn fun. Minetta this, Minetta that. <laughs> I'm sucking the in his dick! <laughs> you know that he has <laughs> deep down inside of him. And he has the biggest You, you fucking life. know that you would you would I easily know. bend over for him and spread your ass cheeks if he says, <laughs> Let me grape you in the ass. Oh my Do god. You know what? <laughs> Mommy and Daddy are fighting. I feel like Invisible Girl might. Invisible Girl's a slut. I hate her. <laughs> Why? Yeah, see, Why? J just cause, give you shit. Just because like her main superhero outfit is consists of nothing but gloves. Oh, because she's fucking well, pointless. I understand people maybe saying, "Oh, Minetta's useless." I'm like, okay, you're wrong, but uh, I can agree with that opinion. But then th th there's people that say that she's useful. I'm like. I mean, she can't even even, I mean, stealth, she can't you know. Do anything. She can't even uh, fight. I mean, stealth. I wonder how big her titties are. She's thick. She's it, it is canon that she is thick. You know, like okay, the, cool. you, you guys, <laughs> you guys may not see me right now, but I am just like tearing up right now just because of how fucking hilarious this is. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound of me sucking me out of his dick. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, there was one episode where like the the guy who like who can shoot with a revolver pistol from a very long distance, like he accidentally grabbed her titty. No, like no, no, no. He didn't grab what? it. Like he just like like bumped into it. I remember. Wait. And she's like, what "You fucking this? perv." This is my hero. Yes. And then he's just like, "No, I didn't even touch it. I swear, I can't even see you." And she just like keeps like gently hitting him. It's like, "Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry." I remember that so much. <laughs> oh my god! Season three? No, I yeah, I think it was in season two. If I'm not mistaken, I don't remember because I haven't watched it in a long time. Oh, when he accidentally grabs a titty, everybody's like doesn't even remember because I don't even remember that shit. But when Minetta grabs a titty by mistake, everybody goes, "Oh, it's Minetta!" Because he's known for being for being a pervert, you dingus. <laughs> He did not intentionally grope Sue, goddammit. I have a game theory on this. He, he, he said it's Pat Pat. He's intentionally the pervert of the group, dude. I mean, there's two to three perverts in the whole group, but he's like the leader. Found it. Oh, you, you found it? I found the clip. You really and he just barely bumps his his like I, elbow into her. I told you he just barely bumps into her tit, and yet like she. I he grabs her tit. Like, <laughs> he was my neighbor, and he violated me. <laughs> now I'll never end Man, up in a fancy pie. She has fucking titties. It's a shame that no one can see them. <laughs> Like, the, her shirts make it very well known that she is well endowed and she has a fucking nice ass. Apparently, there are a lot of people who would not mind getting melted if they get to fuck the pink check. You, you know, um... Oh, yeah, I, I, me. I'm one of them. She's well, guy, Mina's well, best girl. Well, guys, um, you know, it, it kind of just occurred to me, like, uh, I mean, cor correct me if I'm wrong, but, um, aren't, you know, aren't these, all these characters, you know, um... In fucking high school?! <laughs> you think okay i really gotta get the fucking voice changer back holy shit i mean if she if if i'm 18 she's 18 i mean yeah you know what they say in all the porn that those pervert artists make are depicted as 18 years big dicks <laughs> wait 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 
Wait, 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 wait. Hold the fuck on. I've had a theory about things. The game theory. Hold on a second. Are you saying that you have a theory about a game and or film? I think that I'm talking I... about a theory about hentai. I was thinking like maybe the artists actually legit have to have sex and record people. Like they have sex with just so they could be able to draw it themselves. <laughs> If it's like they're not even into it, but it's like I need the inspiration. I need the, like the aspects of all of the female and male anatomy just to make this right. To a star. Listen, I'm gonna let you suck on my dick, and you're gonna use that for voice recording. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense, it, it's like, yes, do you, do you think... I do, like it's a quiet video. <laughs> imagine it's like, you think a good angle? Yes, I, I do think that is a good angle. Thank you. Bras <laughs> <laughs> and fucking doujinshi while he's getting his dick sucked. <laughs> I think we can... Fuck a duck, suck a... Um, truck. Yes. Wait, let's suck the tr the exhaust pipe of a truck. <laughs> Can we actually say who the worst character in my hero is? Because I think it's a uh, sugar boy. I think you. No, did. I think I still think it's guy with tail. I think you. Yeah, yeah. I think you've told me before. You think it's the dude with the tail. <laughs> no, no. The one is the one who gets to speak to animals. Like I hate him. He's a he's such a fucking pussy. <laughs> fuck oh. that guy, my guy. Like fuck I'm that guy. Meta. Let's be fair. What? What? Manetta. Is it? Oh wait, are you actually? What about your fucking wet dream? <laughs> He's more of a pussy than Manetta. At least Manetta fights when he has to. Another he guy... didn't fight because he wanted to. He fighted for the titties. He wanted. He wanted that fucking BDSM bitch's titties. But he, then he's like, I'm gonna save my friend because he's also a sweet, cute, curvy boy. But he's secret about it. <laughs> Can, like, Ooh, but... like ah, Jesus! Think about being saved by Mineta. Person that would be for you. You know, wait. Can can I just can I just say something though? Freaking, can can we all agree that if we just like ad admit like to our perviness, that just makes our our ourselves just a little bit better. Of course. Man, you should see. You should. You should see my uh, secure folder. I have recently added more stuff to my secure folder on my phone, which is where I keep all of the naughty things. For Being example, for example, I have this. I think I think I think we can wrap it up here. Well, I was gonna say, that's Alex for you folks. He he may, uh, he's a professional asshole, a professional hentai yeah. enthusiast. Um, but at least he is uh, kind and caring enough out of all of our friends to to have a, a great wife. Kids, I have to. Oh, go. look, is that lolly porn? <laughs> I literally just said. Okay, um, I th we have to, I have to leave, so can we wrap do, it up? Oh, do, oh, yes, J John has to go watch a movie, so, yeah. <laughs> yes, everybody, Th this... but let me announce one thing before I go. What is it? I'm going to be saying that um, I will now be taking the role of co-editor for the What the Fuck Randomness YouTube series on a little channel called DJ Silver XY. You probably have heard of it. That's this channel. But, um... Wait, wait. So... so I'm going to be doing stuff there as well as doing other commissions. If you want commissions from me for video editing, let me know on my DMs. If you want a YouTube poop, I'll do it. <laughs> Hit me up if you want a more. review, I'll do it. If you want me to, uh, to do whatever video you want me to do, DM me and we'll see what we can do, big boy. Also, if you want, check out the Daiki Modachi Game Channel because he's a good boy, and it's my first can, year. Can you do Solaxium Episode Three? I'll no. do Solaxium Episode Three for twenty-five bucks. No, <laughs> that'll still come out in about ten years. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. Okay, oh, yeah. All right, I I think no, okay. that that ends it.
that that's it for this episode of the randomizers podcast i hope you all enjoyed this random weird ass conversation of ours we were just so weird tonight it's it's amazing it's weird don't don't take any well like we may have our own opinions but remember they're just opinions you can do whatever you want uh all of all of my friends can be weird or assholes or maybe both but nonetheless i love them all i love i love you all i love i love you guys Mwah. all right i'm gonna go before this gets gay fuck all of you i hate you bye <laughs> see there we go okay bye everyone